for us, it's just about finding a place that constantly inspires you, whether or not you're putting that into your work or you find um, the ability to be creative. We can do what we need to do. We can have a day-to-day -day job, like if fashion design involves being extremely business-oriented, but then at the same time, you have to really find that release and the ability to say, where are we going to come up with another idea? What's most valuable in our job is ideas. We really are responsive to texture and building a world with texture, and I think it's the first thing we consider. So it's about fabrication, color, and what's our story going to be. And it was so funny as we began thinking they were going to do a ton of jet bead work, like because we had like an element of Victorian um, influence that we wanted to explore. And then that kind of just bled out into like really doing things that were more based in the idea of minerals and gemstones and things that we found. Um, more Australian, and I think that that added perfection to some of the colors. So it was like if we used a, a really beautiful crimson, we could you know, bring that to life with four shades of red. And then all of a sudden you have something that looks really pure and beautiful, and um, like something that's more natural and created not by a person. Working with Swarovski Elements in this collection really allowed for us to explore the idea of Australia and to tell a full story. When you're painting and you can layer these yeah. colors, but at a certain point, like whether you're working with print or hand painting, it kind of just like on a fabric can only go so far. And it's amazing too because there's the way that they're cut and the way that they're finished in certain parts really... We could use the one that is yellow and then at a certain point it looks lavender. Right to get to the point of like you know the way we wanted to highlight certain colors it really works. Mm -hmm.